Good morning, folks. We've got looks at severe weather last night. We'll see the scorching weather on a nearby brown dwarf, and we'll take a look at the latest location identification survey for galaxies. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Few more flares, perhaps one minor CME eruption. Lots and lots of sunspots, northern coronal hole passing central heliographic longitudes. Peak event of the last 24 hours was an M3 solar flare that erupted this morning. Due to a minor frame outage on SDO, it can only really be seen here with GOES. You can see that flash of light and pop from the active region just north of the equator. Perhaps a minor CME eruption as well, but it would be minor. And I'll check with the coronagraphs when they update. Meanwhile, the focus on sunspots remains. High number of active regions today, including a pretty big one incoming on the left just south of the equator. Flare watch remains high as we move into the middle of the week. Let's go to the weather next, where the Midwest, including Chicago, suffered a derecho event last night. Winds topped 100 miles per hour. There's pretty significant damage. This is the geocolor view from the GOES satellite. The storm ballooned from nothing to a massive cell, caused the event you see here. First article today hit some of the nearest brown dwarfs. James Webb has been able to map swirling clouds of material that are blazing hot. We are entering an era where we can determine whether on other worlds, even the odd dwarfs here that are not quite stars, but are bigger than planets like Jupiter. Last but not least, bit of eye candy as the latest galactic survey is revealing a 3D look into where the known galaxies are found relative to one another. This is a fly-through of literally millions of sources, each one an entire galaxy full of millions to billions of stars. They are saying that the newest scopes are able to pinpoint the locations better than before, allowing them to make the space map of where the central hubs of activity are found. Link to these stories found below along with other important resources. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.